hey you guys welcome back to my channel and today i will be showing you guys how i make this hat and jogger set for your little ones and you guys can mix it up however you want so let's have some fun all right so the first thing that you guys want to do is go ahead and get your pattern and your fabric prepared now the first thing that i want to show you guys how to cut out is the beanie slash hat and you guys i really don't perfectly have a pattern it's really just something that I cut out via measurements so I'm going to show you guys how to do it the same exact way so the only thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lay this out flat and I'm going to get the pattern that I quote unquote created now this is 16 and a half long and it is seven inches wide and this fits about a newborn up to a 12 month old possibly but it's kind of pushing it so I just wanted to go ahead and um, do new measurements for this, um, despite not having a pattern for it. So I'm going to add two more inches going from right to left as far as width. So instead of seven inches, it will now be nine inches. And I went ahead and practiced this theory on my toddler. And that's the hat that I created. And it worked out pretty well. So I guess from uh, for a two-year-old, add two inches. So seven plus two, nine inches wide if that makes any sense guys and I'm just going to go ahead and now create our curved edges I want to make sure that it is slouchy enough or high enough so I'm going to add four to five inches of height I believe I did two and a half per age so since it's a two-year-old instead of a newborn I added five inches if you guys need clarity I'll just say that you guys are going to make this nine by 21 and a half inches for a two-year-old now I'm just folding it and cutting out those curves so you're going to create one curve and just fold it all four ways to um, match those curves up and I think that's pretty easy you start off with a rectangle and you go ahead and you cut a curve into it My goal is to make things as easy as possible for all of us because not only do you want to make nice things for your family, your friends, or maybe one day you actually want to have a little business from these things, make a little money on the side, and what, 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 what's better than easy money? Like I couldn't even get that question out because it's like, why is it even a question? So now that we have this all cut out, we are going to just make sure that it is nice and even because sometimes my fabric shifts or gets stuck and I'm going to create those pleats slash um, creases that comes in a hat now you guys can take some scissors and cut into this um, this folded edge but I just like to keep one tool so I'm going to take my rotary cutter and just go ahead with my ruler and and clip it with um, my ruler and my rotary cutter so I line it up to see how many inches and I believe I went three inches down so a three inch pleat and as you guys can see now it has slits in all of the layers we're going to open it and put right sides together when it is time to sew it okay you guys so now we are going to get ready to cut out our jogger pattern the pattern that i will be using guys is the ellie and mac pattern and you guys can find my link in the description below for this pattern now if you guys are having a hard time with learning how to use patterns I'm hoping that showing you guys this will help because most videos don't quite seem to even show the cutting pattern process so even though I fast forwarded I hope that it still helps you guys out so the first thing that I want to do is make sure that I can separate the piece that I'm going to be using from the rest of the yard. I feel like that gives me more control and I have less weight to deal with and handle. And here I remember that I have this heavy um, tape dispenser and that actually helped me to cut out my pattern a lot easier. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the back of the pen. So we cut out two fronts mirrored and we're going to cut out two backs mirrored as well. And also, we're going to cut out the waistband, and that's going to be one layer only. And we're also going to cut out the cuffs. And you're going to need two of those, and I don't think they need to be mirrored at all. You just need two of them cut, period. 
right? And now from here, guys, we have all of our pieces cut out. All we have to do is go ahead to the sewing machine and start sewing. So the first thing that we're going to sew, guys, is our hats. And if you guys remember, we have those two rectangular, uh, circular rectangles cut out with the circular part being the top of the hat. We're going to go ahead and serge those four pleats that we created to give the, the hat some texture and some pattern. Now we have to do that four times. The way that you guys see it is see me doing it once again is with my surgery, but you guys can zigzag stitch this, or you guys also could use the, I believe it's the H foot or the J foot. I'll put the link to that in the description below as well, where it actually helps me surge or get a surge like edge on my sewing machine. And that was very helpful for me until I could save up the money to get my serger. So you guys, that may be very helpful for you. And if you guys want me to show you a video of me using that on my sewing machine, I most definitely could do that. So just go ahead and leave a comment below if that's something that you guys desire. So I went ahead and I, I surged those four openings. And from this point, we're going to go ahead and clip it. We're going to clip our top and our bottom. And if you guys want, you can clip all the way around, maybe every two or three inches. But because I am, I don't want to say rushing, this is more like a rush order for a gift. Um, I actually had um, somewhere to go. So I decided to uh, do it quickly. But if you guys are beginners, I would say it is more beginner friendly to clip more and to take your time. Now this video is very quick if you guys do need me to slow down or to go more detailed. Or you guys, please feel free to ask me. I absolutely do not mind. All I'm doing is going all the way around this circular rectangle shape to create our lining or the inside of our hat, I guess you can say, because we will be turning it right side out. So we're gonna leave about a two inch um, opening for us to be able to turn it right side out. And as you guys see here, I'm gonna go ahead and lift it off of my serger and come around to clip off that tail. So this is what we have, and we're gonna use that opening and go ahead and turn it right side out but i forgot to cut off my tail so i'm just going to let it loose cut that extra piece of fabric and flip it right side out now we have our shape at the top of our hat and we're just going to go ahead and make sure that everything is all flat and even you guys could do this by hand with an invisible stitch you can top stitch it on your sewing machine but i just go ahead on my serger and i serge that piece right on through so also they don't accidentally have the inside on the outside from a top stitch i'm going to tuck that serge part on the inside of my hat to kind of make it have that shape and we're gonna flip our bottom up. You guys could leave your bottom down if you desire, uh, or you can customize it uh, on that part if you want to uh, flip it up as well. So there's a lot of ideas to do with this. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I do one of my cuffs, and we're gonna do the same thing for the other cuff as well as the waistband, but my camera cut off, but I'm happy I was able to at least get one of them fully. Now the way that I fold my cuffs is that I do the long way first, so it's kind of like you guys are making a hmm how can i explain it so i think of it as taking the longest uh right to left side and fold that in half and then you're going to fold the opposite half as up as well so longest fold in half and then flip it up and that's what you're going to surge so we went ahead and flipped that part up and we're going to surge along that open salvage end where the other side should be folded like a, a part of the fold and I hope I explained that well and from here you guys could just flip it right side out we just want to make sure that you clip off your tail that's how it should look when you flip it out it should be a cuff you can use this for sweaters for pants for joggers for anything so absolutely love items that have a cuff involved in it we're going to do the same thing for both of our cuffs as well as our waistband and that's what it looks like if you guys need a better detailed video there will be a better detailed video in the bummies but as i stated you guys i was rushing but i still want to be able to give you guys some content so even if i give you guys extra content like this video of me just 
getting um, a gift ready. I think that is helpful for you guys to get a visual of things in a way that um, you guys can do it, especially a way that you could do it when you get better or professional or faster. This is a way that um, you could expect yourself to look. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead and search that line. Now, if you guys didn't plan on doing any patches because this pattern allows patches, you can go ahead and flip it over and search that other side as well. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the inside and go ahead and start on the other one. And we are just going to get this ready to be searched. Go ahead and sew it through. If you guys are on your sewing machine, you can go ahead and zigzag stitch it or use that surging foot um, because it is extremely helpful on my sewing machine. And now I'm going to go ahead and do that other side that you guys could have done without me opening it. So we're going to go ahead and start at the bottom of the curve. You don't want to touch the curve just from the bottom of the crotch on down to the leg opening. And do the same thing on the opposite side skip the curve go from the tip of the curve all the way to the bottom make sure it's nice and even and surge right on down from here you're going to flip it right side out and you're going to tuck it inside one that's the opposite way because you just want the right <clears throat> you want the right sides to be touching excuse me guys so from here, we're going to clip the crotch and the top in the other top of our curved part. I'm not doing a lot of clipping in this video as I stated before, but I do recommend if you guys are new to go ahead and clip it more for your liking and for your abilities. Now that we are finished with that, we're going to pull that one leg out and both sides should be inside out. And now we're going to turn it right side out and get ready to attach our waistband. I like to go ahead and clip my waistband about uh, four times. You guys have the back seam and then you have the front and then the two sides. Our pants already have four seams because we took four panels and put them together. So we're just going to go ahead and match it up. We're going to put that seam that is on our waistband on the back of our pants. And if you guys are adding a label, you guys can go ahead and put it in between there. But I'm not at the place yet where I add labels to my clothing. I will get there soon. But um, if you guys do want to add a label, this will be the time for you to add it. We're going to go ahead and match our slits and our seams together all the way around. So total for me, that's going to be four clips. But once again, if you guys are beginners, I do recommend and suggest that you go ahead and you add more clips in between the clips that we currently have here. So here and all between the other two clips that we have, you guys would add another clip or a pin. You guys can pin around too, but I find clips more helpful. So I'm going to put it on my serger and we're going to serge all the way around this circle just making sure that everything is lined up. I like to put my pointer finger in between my waistband and pants and I like to have my thumb underneath and I keep my finger in between that space and I let it tighten and once it's tight as I'm serging I remove my finger to go to the next clip. That's the best way that I know that I am scratching my waistband only and not scratching my pants. You guys want to make sure you don't scratch your joggers because you'll get this wavy, um, this wavy seam and it doesn't lay down well. It doesn't look well. So you just want to make sure that you're only scratching your waistband and only scratching your cuffs. Now that we're finished, I cut off my tail and I burn my um, thread. And because it, it melts softly, it still seems it still seals the seam without causing any irritation um, to the kids or to the customer, so on and so forth. And I haven't had any issues as of yet. 
I do the same thing with my cuff. I forgot to clip it before, so I just flipped it over in half. And I went ahead and clipped it. And because our pants already have two seams, I'm just going to match up that, that clip with that seam. Now, you guys, I will be doing more videos like this of pants and joggers and shorts. Um, and I could do it much slower. Uh, just let me know. But like I said before, guys, just a reminder that this was a rush because I had a lot of things to do. And I've been pushing out more content and just dealing with a two-year-old and an eight-month-old. So... Please bear with me if this video is going too fast for you. I really do apologize and I really do care about you guys. My viewers, my subscribers, like you guys are like family to me. So if you guys need me to go slower, if you need one-on-one -on -one classes, I, got, I do that too. So just go ahead and feel free to ask me any questions that you guys may have. From here, we're going to go ahead and finish that last cuff, guys, and like... Literally, that is it. You guys really finished these pants with me, and it took us less than 20 minutes to create a whole set. Now, it does take me more time because I'm recording and making sure that you guys are in view and can see everything that I'm doing, but this project is so quick and so easy. I absolutely love making it, and I think that it is the most adorable set. With a matching t-shirt, it will be perfect for your little ones for christmas gifts for family gifts and if you guys go to ellie and mac and find the adult sizes too mommy and me daddy and me whole family sets guys the possibilities are endless thank you guys so much for watching here on television love someone and let them love you i'll go ahead and put some pictures at the end thank you guys so much for watching i hope that this helps and this is how great it came out so from the top to the bottom I'm absolutely loving it and I went ahead and I made two sets. Thank you guys again and again. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment and also share it with somebody that you think it will help. See you guys next time. Talk to you soon. Bye.